Hey, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. This is David Steele, and you have caught me negotiating away from my cargo pickup. Let's just quickly show you the truck. In fact, I'll just shift down again. There we go. We're in my car again, because who doesn't love a my car? A lot of people seem to really enjoy this truck. Well, this is going to be a challenge today. Okay, so let's deal with the numbers first and foremost. I am using a Mac EM6 engine. This is a 250 horsepower version, and I am really struggling. There we go. And it's paired up with a Mac 5 speed transmission. This is a direct drive unit. So 3.87 is the final drive, that's what comes with the Havens Mac R mod. Five speeds to choose from, pretty short in the, in the gearing department. A 55 um, mile an hour in top speed, it's about 1800 revs. But that's okay given that we've got a fairly low powered engine under the hood here today. Just 250 horsepower rated. It's going to be a challenge. Cargo today is a 34,000 uh, pound lump of uh, machinery. There we go. Is that a bulldozer? I guess it's, it's a bulldozer. Looks like one to me. Uh, oh, I better, I better uh, I'm gonna stop for this intersection or junction or T junction or whatever it's called. In fact, let me just uh, pull out. That was a very abrupt stop. Let's take another look at things. So, um, oh, let's get the lights on, I think. You might want those. And um, yeah, this is uh, one of my favorite trucks of the, of the game. It's a mod truck. Uh, I think it's the first I ever tried, or one of the, the first. I've given it um, fairly close to Saab's Anthracite Green. If you know your Saab's, you, you'll know what that color is. It was hugely popular in the early 2000s, some 20 years ago. And it's a metallic green. There's a lot of black in there. Um, there's a bit of, bit of green highlight. Configured uh, the truck today as a bit of a logging machine, so two exhausts for noise emissions, no less. Because this thing, you need to rev it to 2,000, 2,100 RPM governor between uh, changing gears. Um, we've got the off-duty tires showing there, not that we can really see them in this light. And like I say, 34,000 pounds stuck behind me. This is an urgent delivery, so I'm gonna have to make like a tree and get out of here uh, once I'm able to move. Don't. Don't stop, Sancho. You're not helping me. Come on. Go on. Thank you. Um, I guess my nose is sticking out too much. Well, that's, that's why my nose is sticking out. So, let me see. Can I go now? And I have a cab cat with me as well. Because who doesn't like a cab cat? Alright, come on, come on. Concentrate here. Take it close to the governor and then keep it going. I am using, uh, I think it's a, a sizzle or sizzle mod to um, have the dashboard the computer showing up there. And that's that really helps me. I'm not using a H pattern shifter today and I'm shifting the cogs myself. Occasionally, you can forget what ratio you're in. And when I say you, I mean I. I wonder if I really need my uh, my hazard light. Not my hazard light, it's my beacon on. Let's take a look. It's kind of getting dark. Well, that's why. It's 7 p.m. Doesn't want to go any quicker than this, really. Yeah, I don't think those actually do much right now. Right, let's shift up. So, fifth gear at 38 miles an hour. I'm going to set cruise and put cruise up to 55. I reset my, my cruise increment from one mile an hour up to five as I rely on it too, too much. Time for a swig of coffee today. Here we go. This Mac arm is the medium length, I think it's 169 inches, is how it's, uh, how it's described. Good grief, could these guys get any closer to me? Can't go any quicker up this this hill. Can I see how close they are behind me? No, not not really. All right. Well, um, I'm not going to push this thing any quicker. I don't want to break the speed limit. Just a quick check on how long I've got. So 
I've got eight hours to get there, and it reckons it's gonna take me six and a half hours, so, okay. I think I'm gonna be okay, but this is not a powerful truck. Um, if I struggle up a hill, it's really gonna impact the, the time that I've got, so I kind of feel I should push a little harder, but I'm not going to. Let's just keep it at 50 if I'm able to. As well as 250 rated horsepower, we have 940 foot-pounds of torque. That is not much in modern context. In fact, there are some pickup trucks that have quite a bit more than this. I think um, the Ford's uh, super heavy duty, whatever they call it, in the 350 and 250. That uh, power stroke V8 can be had with a 500 rated horsepower and 1200 foot-pounds of torque. That combination might work fairly well in the Macar, although I imagine it needs to be revved a bit. Oh yeah, and it has to be cooled, and might specify um, 400 horsepower is the limit. Alright, so I'm going to have to go to change down now, and go see if I can keep it rolling up this, this hill. Yeah, it's more or less holding its speed at just over 30. I'm holding everyone up. And it's going to be dark soon, and that's not going to help everyone's patience, but it'll be okay. And in a, uh, a 9 speed, or a 12, or a 10, or an 18 speed, at, at this point in the tachometer, I'll be really reaching for the next gear. But in the case of the Macar, I don't need to be doing that. I'm going to take this uh, pretty much to the governor. Reckons the rec well, the recommended speed limit is 40 for this stretch, and that's good because I'm not quite able to do 40. Uh, I believe that's the governor. Let's shift up once we crest this hill. I reckon we're cresting. Shift up. Okay. Now I'm going to just uh, tap down. Yeah, let's tap down the cruise control to 40 because a couple of tightish corners coming up, and I don't really want to fall off the road. Is it 40? Yes, it's 40. I may have driven that road before. Try and negotiate this without falling off. They are still, still squeezed up behind me. Wow. Okay. Well, we didn't exceed 50 miles an hour, which is nice. Let's tap up to 45. Just keep the thing going. Here comes a tunnel on the right. So, an urgent delivery with just 250 horsepower and a 5-speed gearbox. What could you possibly ask for to go wrong? Quite a bit. Right. Tap it back up to 50. You want to keep this thing going. Let's just do a quick check on my time. So, 5.44 and 7. So, it's taken me an hour to get to this point. So I am most definitely losing time. I really need to hustle, but oh, this is not going to be good. Alright. So, construction work or road work. And it went to green, that's that's good. Let's drop it to third, it was a little high for third, but that's me not being so familiar with the five speeds. Take it through the governor, through the gears. Resume on my cruise and take it up to 40. And I've got lots of time between gig and you know, to know, look around the cabin, um, scratch this kitty on the chin, you know, pull up a crossword and do a couple of numbers, right? Um, yeah, he's been a good, good kitty. Right, set my cruise at 55. We're in top gear, so um, I'm about to exceed the recommended speed for this corner, but I think we'll do okay. Yeah, more or less. See now the whole thing started to tip there. to lift off. Oh, it's a stop sign, but I'm going to lift off anyway. I downshifted way too early there. Sorry, Mac. <laughs> Sorry, all those people are going to have to fix that if I break something. Let's go down through the gears. It's probably a Mac pulling this um, cement mixer in front of me. Okay, and I really do need to stop. It is a stop sign, so we'll go ahead and stop. Stopping is uh, kind of painful in a big vehicle basically. It takes that much more effort to get this thing going. I don't have many gears to change and that's nice, but yeah. If I had a man 
manual clutch, I've got to do all that clutch work. I'll set my cruise at 35, and it's going to be a fourth gear at 35 because it's too slow for uh, for top gear. Let's have some more coffee. Not just watch these lights go. Yeah, there they are. They went to red. Okay. These brakes are kind of sensitive too. We managed to, to pull up to it without wrecking anything. We're still moving though, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Okay, let's go ahead and stop there. All right, put the uh, the parking brake on. So who gets to go next? I uh, wonder if it's us. Ooh, that's good coffee. Come on, the burning up, burning time. Okay, go, 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 go. Come on. Okay, up to the governor. Shift up again. Same trick again. So 2100. This speed went back to 1250, 1300 RPM in the next gear. That's good. And again, up to 2100. Dink, change. Yeah, okay. Get cruise on, put this cruise up to 60. My govern speed in this truck is about 65 miles an hour, which is 2100 RPM in fifth gear. I don't think I'll be reaching it on this trip. It's um, there's a lot of uh, a lot of curves to to go through. Let me see if I can preview it. Not easily, um, but we'll we'll try. We might exceed that speed on the way down. So I've got to get the left hand lane here. I think. Maybe I don't. Yeah, I think I do. That was the governor in fourth, so shift up to fifth. Now the real truck takes longer to change gear because you got to wait for the revs to drop from 2100 down to sort of 1300, um, and that's where your crossword puzzle is going to be useful again. Five down, patience. You know, I suppose five down, eight letters. Is it patience? Eight letters to express resilience through adversity when waiting for something or something along those lines. All right, let's see if we can hit 60 because I really need to. I'll check my time. Let's go ahead and do that. So, five hours. Yeah, I'm, I have an hour spare to make this trip. So, we're gonna have to. Um, that's wrong with it basically. And I'm still not at 60 miles an hour. Well, see if the wheel camera helps. Not really. We're still accelerating. So given we only have 940 foot pounds of torque and there's an enormous um, difference uh, in revs between the gears I would say that I'm doing okay it's just this kind of trip's a challenge because you got to maintain your speed as much as you can it's an urgent delivery you get a lot of time pressure uh, oh yeah and I've just seen um, I'm four and a half hours away from my destination and four and a half hours till I need to take a break so I may get fined if I'm late I will get fined if I'm late I'm sure of it there's another challenge there as well. I didn't realize that when I took the job. Okay. Blazing along with my main beam, shining bright. I don't think I can get away with, I think I can get to go any quicker a little and get away with it, but let's see. I'm about to hit 60. I'm about to hit 60. We were going to hit 60, but now we're not. Wow. Getting up to a hill, and of course, working it this hard and constantly giving it full power is, is going to be a little harsh on mileage. So, what's my range situation like right now? Um, 800 mile range, it reckons 100 gallons. Well, I don't believe that because I'm only averaging 4.5, give or take. So, that gives me about 450 miles. Okay. And I've got 200, so I've got plenty. I can get two miles per gallon and I'll, I'll be okay mileage wise. And we're gonna pop 
pull over to stop. This is just what I didn't want to happen. Let's uh, let's do it. Let's be weighed and measured. Seventy-two and a half thousand pounds. That's quite a bit for um, this fairly low torque engine. But okay. So why would you want a five-speed transmission in a heavy-duty truck anyway? Part of me, the first answer to that question is going to be because you can. I mean, you can get away with it. But therein is the is the other complication. You, you're getting away with it. It's not the optimal solution. It may not be the optimal solution, I should probably say. But in a time when fuel was a lot cheaper than it is in 2024, you didn't so much mind your mileage was pretty poor because you're constantly using higher revs. If the payback is it's easier for drivers to control and having a choice between 18 gears and five gears I pretty much can say that the five speed will be easier to drive, easier to control. Is it mechanically simpler? Possibly. Um, the Mac transmissions are notoriously tough. They have triple counter shaft, I believe. I think that that's the correct terminology. So they are strong transmissions and with only five cogs going forward, I think this one has five going backwards, it might be four. Um, it means it's it's um, there's less for a newbie to to break. And so it's easier to drive. You have no range finders, you have no splits. you um, you know what you see is what you get and this, the six speeds will be pretty similar to that too. The six speed with the the Mac car has the advantage of an overdrive version of that so you can reduce your engine revs or get to a higher speed more comfortably but the six speed has the same final drive and the same um, top speed just there's an extra gear in there that would have been useful as you heard the uh, the Mac was kind of struggling to move off especially up a very slight uphill gradient and it's not exactly maxed out on, on weight right now so having a, a shorter first gear or a low ratio is, is useful. And in fact, Mac produced these cars way. Mac produced uh, some seven-speed gearboxes that were um, essentially they, they look to me like they're a five-speed with a couple of crawler gears that's slotted behind this. got a, a, a five speed with a couple of crawlers and crawlers are great for just moving you off um, up a hill or a very low low speed some max um, have a button or two on the dashboard which you use to engage the crawler gears and a conventional five speed gearbox is going to just slip around this Volvo is actually in my way no. he was in my way but then he picked up speed and falling behind him again. Let's go back here. That was a lot of illumination when I used my right indicator. Where is that? Oh, I see. So my, my logging rack has got uh, a bunch of LED or a bunch of lights that are illuminating things. There is, um, there can be a glitch. Yeah, it's not, it's not affecting it. When you have uh, some front lights on uh, the Mac, so on the, um, the bumper, you, you can see a glitch when they sometimes light up when you indicate, but I don't have that today. Right, back up to uh, back up to 60, which is nice, and we're actually cruising, or we're not even cruising, we're, we're going down a hill, we're picking up speed. It's 
check. So we've got 2 hours and 48 minutes to go, and I rest in 2 hours and 38 minutes. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. That's, that's not good, really. My right hand, right leg, and so I'm going to pull it here. I know, but I can fall, I don't. Thanks for that. Make me lose all my speed. I really appreciate that. The AA doesn't do it to you on purpose. It doesn't do it to me on purpose. It just does it. Yeah, well. Please don't pull me in to weigh me again. I've just been weighed and I was fine to be compliant and so you don't need to. Please don't pull me in. Now I've got no chance of uh, of making um, making it in time. Sadly, and I know I could have ignored it, but I didn't really want to do that. I want to try and keep this realistic, even if it means yes. I I don't need the indicator one. Thank you. Even if it means being late, that's a little frustrating because I know I've got no way of making up the. Um, the time, I don't have the power or the speed to uh, to be able to do it. And I can't blame this one on the AI. No way to stop here. I've just turned. There's nobody there. Fine. That was stop. I was stationary. If you don't believe me, take a picture. There's no one in the way station. That's uh, that's good. I'm not even going to bother seeing what I weigh because it'll be a little bit less than the last time, so burn off a bit more fuel. Go, got the green light. Okay, let let's go. It is a bit confusing in the dark. This guy could have pulled out in front of me because I'm probably going to hold him up, but thank you for, for waiting. I appreciate it. Right, let's go. There's my first show, and that means I've got uh, under two hours to go and two hours 25 to get to my destination, so that cost me 30 minutes. Miserable British face, right? I wonder if real truckers have that issue, and I'm sure that they do. speed. Well, obviously no officer, your honor. Is it going to make any difference by, by, by uh, exceeding my speed when I eventually get up to 60, which, check the calendar, that's not going to be for a time yet. So I think the question of do I want to speed should really be, am I going to be able to speed? Am I going to be able to get up to 60 before this corner? No. Can I get up to it after this corner? Maybe. Is it going to a bit slow down for this corner? Quite possibly. Let's see. What does it say? 50. Well, I'm doing pretty much just over 52 now. It's obviously a very tiny uphill gradient, so we'll not worry about that. Let's keep the hammer down. Uh, turn right up here, so we'll have to lift off very least maybe use fourth gear for this right hand corner unless it's a stop sign it's left off completely now yeah back on the engine brake I think it's a stop sign I was waking everyone up by using my engine brake as I pull into this little uh, little settlement yeah it looks like it's a stop sign well that's a good way okay that's good. I prefer giveaways to stops. Or is it? Do I, do I just have to keep going? I think I do. Okay. Turn right. Permitted, permitted without stopping. Good. Okay, let's get back on the power. 
miles an hour late. The limit was 25, and it's still 25 miles an hour, so we're going to see if we can exceed that. There we go. So I set my cruise back up to 60. As I recall, this, this little town or village on the way out, the speed goes up in increments of 5 miles an hour, or 10 miles an hour even. So, and we go up a hill. That is interesting. I don't think I'd ever seen that before. Let's go back and investigate that. And I guess I was wrong because the limit's got right back up to 60 from 35. And I don't think I'll be getting 60 anytime soon because look, this is going uphill. I don't know. Recommended speed of 45. Well, that's I only have one gear that I can do 45 in, and that's top, and I'm just dazzled this guy. Sorry. I'm going to slow down. I am going to slow down. I don't want to get busted speeding. In a village, I should say, or as a town. He was a little, yeah, a little aggressive on the down tube there. But the limit's now down to 25 anyway, so I'm just watching the time ever away. I'm now going to be an hour after my shift has ended. I shouldn't be late for the contract. Oh, <laughs> It's really close. An hour 28. I didn't... Why do you do that, traffic lights? Change gear. Come on. Just as you stop, they change to green. It's like, ah, uh, you make me stop, and then I have to immediately pull off. If I had just slowed down a little earlier and kept it rolling, it would have been an easier transition. But anyway. So, one hour 26 to get there, and one hour 27 left in this job. not going to make it because as we see I'm losing time but we're still going to try. Every minute you're late in American Truck Simulator you get fined a certain amount or they reduce how much you earn so it's quite easy to uh, get a zero paying job unless it's before you even damage the, the cargo. So my objective has changed from I want to get there in time to I want to make a bit of money out of this. If I get fined through being um, driving outside of beyond my hours, I will cut into my earnings. The limit's 35. I'm going to try and push it a little quicker. It's not going to do it. So I'm now in fifth, and is it going to do it? Is it going to? Maybe. Could drop to fourth, but I don't think it's going to really do much. Alright, so gradually accelerating to 40. You can hear everything moving around in the cabin because we're going around the corner just a little bit too quickly. Recommended speed 45, we might hit 45 by this corner, but I think we're going up a hill. unsettle the, the, the trailer and the uh, tractor engine, you can cause it to jackknife, you can cause it to skid, you can cause it to roll, and sometimes you can do all three. That's never fun. I'm going to dip my lights. To resume on the cruise. A little shaky with my steering now, but... Let's just jump up to 65. I don't think it's going to reach it. It 
might be governed at something like 63. Still doing 60. Sounds dramatic though, doesn't it? Really trying hard today. No, amongst the yawning. I gotta slow down for this, um, this, this town. Speed limit of 30, but we're in. We're in Lewiston. That was a that was a ticket. Was that for speeding? I don't know. Too fast. I'm gonna use this lane. Go straight. Okay. Okay. Come on. Oh oh crap. All right. Almost. Okay. Go 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 go. Turn off my indicator. Can I outdrag this? Uh, is it Kenworth? Or maybe if I didn't fluff my gear changes. Keep left. This says keep right. Let's get on. Dirt, dirt, dirt. again. Wow, that was, uh, that was a little unfortunate. What the heck did he think he was doing? Do you think I was just going so slowly he just Tesla's way out of there? No, he's not behind me anymore, he's turned off. And good reason too, because we've got a bull bar, as he's just discovered. It didn't damage me, did it? Maybe 1%, that might just be tire wear. Okay, so I got two tickets so far, maybe three. Um, if I did get one in the game for that collision with the uh, the car, uh, I'm not counting that because could I have avoided it? Yeah, I probably could have. You know, if I hadn't started this trip, maybe uh, that's another ticket for um, being over my time and the limits are up to twenty. So. It's like you're in a perpetual corridor that's getting longer every step you take. It's getting further and further away. Um, I'm way late for this now. Um, and it's making me go even slower. So... Yeah, it's okay. Maybe I should have put my um, beacon on. That might have helped. You know what? I'm going to stick it on now. People can... Uh, they can maybe that Tesla wouldn't hit me if, I, if I'd uh, had my beacon on. I don't know. We'll never know. I'm sure my boss promised I'd get this there before dawn, and that looks like dawn is right there. Okay, thank you. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. I'm in second. Dang it. Another fine. Driving like a chump. And so, when people ask you if you play this game, why do you play it? Why do you enjoy it so much? And I'm like, because it's so relaxing. And Sandy will sometimes come through and I'm something like this trip's happening and I'm like shaking my fist, very animated at the, at the monitor. And she's like, that doesn't seem very relaxing. I'm like, yeah, but I mean, most of this was avoidable. I, I could have like maybe not started the trip today. <sighs> So yes, this game is very relaxing. I don't have the same level of frustration with this as say with something like XCOM, where it seems that the game is out to get me. Wait, what was that Tesla driver thinking? Oh, we have one last challenge, because I've got to go off the road and up a, uh, I think it's a fairly steep driveway. Is that another fine? I get it, I get it, I'm late, give me a break. Fifth gear at 35, it, it's doing it, and it's almost 1200 revs. It's probably not liking it. Let's just down change it. Yeah, it seems a little uh, little buzzy at that speed. Let's kill my crews. I gotta indicate we're turning up here. I can't see. Oh, yeah, yes, I can. There we go. That, that's the driveway. Alright. 
Avalanche Steel. Just one of my nicknames when I was at school. It really wasn't. full beans right now and we are slowing down but it's not a tight U-bend so I think we're going to be okay we won't need to downshift again there we go, speed up speed again come on, come on, come on, come on okay, now we're going to lift off because we're almost there okay, let's hang my head in shame let's see where they want me to put it Where'd you need it? Uh, no. Yeah, let's just put it there. It, it, it's fine. They're, they're happy with that, right? They won't add another 20 minutes to the journey. Okay. I can maneuver this in a second. Yeah, so I think um, to, to summarize, um, that was a challenging trip. And there was stuff that happened that was maybe out of my control. And I was late, but I think I would have been late anyway. Let's get dipped headlights back on. That will do me. So yeah, it, it has been a, a challenging trip, but it goes to show that if you think that ATS is becoming too easy, try something like this. So 349 miles and 75 gallons of fuel, that's not particularly efficient. I'm not gonna run the numbers because I don't need to be, it's not great. 22 minutes late, so that cost me $230, which actually, all said and done, I, I still got paid for this. It was a took 10% off the top but not a bad trip all up despite some anxiety and frustration at the other drivers um, and being called into be weighed second time right after the first which cost me a lot of time but I hope that you enjoyed today's video and if you have you know exactly what to do if you didn't enjoy it you also know what to do and if you've got this game um, do check out Harvin's Macar if you haven't already tried it um, it is supported by a lot of other mods, including my own. This is one of my engines, um, not my sound, one of my engines. And um, yeah, it's a lot of fun and it adds a new challenge to the game. But hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much, everyone. Goodbye.